What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this super popular transition inside of After Effects. And to be honest, I don't even really know what to call this. I'm just gonna be calling it like the mini max transition because that is pretty much the main effect that is being used in this. As you can see, if I turn it off, that is what it looks like. So yeah, this effect does pretty much all the work and there's just a few other effects that I apply. But I feel like this effect or like transition has just been super popular among these like editing styles on TikTok and YouTube, especially this, uh, Furious guy. Uh, I've seen a lot of his videos. I mean, I watched almost all of them. They're like insanely good. This guy is super talented. So, highly recommend checking out this guy's videos on YouTube or you've probably seen him on TikTok and stuff. So, so he's definitely sort of like the inspiration for this effect, I feel like. And there's a lot of other people that are kind of doing that same style. So, I just really like how this effect looks. And yeah, let's just go ahead and break it down for you guys. So, I just have two different clips in my timeline and I've just added a speed ramp to them. If you want to learn how to do speed ramps like this, I have multiple videos on my channel kind of go over it so you can go ahead and check that out if you want to learn how to do speed ramps just like this but we're going to be going over how to create this transition so what we want to do is hit Control alt y to create an adjustment layer and just trim it down by hitting shift z and x on your keyboard that'll trim it down or you can just drag it like this and we don't want the adjustment layer to be very long just like a couple frames we want to apply it so the middle of the adjustment layer is kind of in between these two different clips and we can play around with it later to see how it looks so the first effect we're going to apply is obviously that mini max so bring that on to adjustment layer and bring the radius up to 90. Uh, you can play around with this like small large amount uh, it just honestly depends on your video and the style that you're going for change this to just horizontal as you can see if i increase this you get more of that like long shutter effect which honestly looks super cool but i'm going to keep it pretty low just for the example here but like i said yeah just go ahead and play around with this and get an effect that you like and to be honest, you could just honestly leave it just like that. That already looks super cool. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a few more effects just to help make it look a little bit more unique. So let's go ahead and apply this Luma key onto here and just increase its threshold a little bit. Something like this. And then I'm going to bring on another effect called scatter and then just increase this radius to 20. And then let's go ahead and add exposure onto this uh, adjustment layer. And you can just mess around with the exposure value here. Just like that. And there you go. That is how you create this mini max transition. So yeah, pretty simple and quick tutorial. But if you did find this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.